In the boundless silence of space, some mysteries pass us by before we ever realize they were there. In October 2017, astronomers in Hawaii spotted something that had never been seen before. An object, fast and distant, slicing across our skies. Not from within our solar system, but from far beyond. It would come to be known as Oumuamua, the first recorded visitor from interstellar space. On October 19, 2017, the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope atop Haleakala on Maui recorded a strange, rapidly moving object. At first, it seemed like a typical comet. It was given a generic designation, C-2017-U1. But as data came in, astronomers noticed something unprecedented. It lacked the visible features of a comet. There was no coma, no tail, and more remarkably, it was moving too fast to be bound by the sun's gravity. Its trajectory told a story. This was no native of our system. It was just passing through, and it was moving fast, over 87 kilometers per second, at its closest approach to the sun. That path, hyperbolic, not elliptical, meant it would never return. The object's brightness fluctuated dramatically, pulsing every 7.3 hours. This suggested it was tumbling, irregular in shape, possibly a long cylinder or a flat pancake. Estimates put its length anywhere from 100 to 400 meters. But perhaps most strange of all, it accelerated as it left. This small push was subtle, just about 17 millimeters per second squared. But it was enough to confuse physicists. There was no visible outgassing, no dust trail, the object wasn't behaving like a comet or anything else we'd seen. To explain the anomaly, two dominant theories emerged. One proposed Oumuamua was a hydrogen iceberg, sublimating gas that our instruments couldn't detect. The other, that it was an artificial object, perhaps a light sail engineered by an alien intelligence. Supporters of the iceberg theory, like Jennifer Bergner and Daryl Seligman, argued that hydrogen, trapped in irradiated water ice, might slowly escape under heat. This would explain the acceleration without visible emissions. But critics pointed out a flaw. Could hydrogen ice even survive the interstellar journey? Avi Loeb said no. Avi Loeb, a Harvard astrophysicist, stood firm. He argued the object's shape and trajectory fit the characteristics of a thin, light-propelled object, like a solar sail. And if nature didn't make it, then someone or something did.
After Oumuamua, scientists turned their gaze inward. Six small near-Earth objects, once ignored, were now seen under a new light. Each exhibited unexplained acceleration, too subtle for past instruments, but now raising critical questions. Could they too be dark comets, slowly releasing invisible gases? Japan's Hayabusa 2, originally designed for asteroid sampling, was reassigned a new mission. Its next stop, 1998 KY-26, one of the six mysterious asteroids showing signs of unexplained movement. A flyby in 2031 may finally offer data on whether these objects conceal hidden forces or unseen physics. Oumuamua races away, now over 6 billion kilometers from Earth, projects like Lyra aim to catch the next. The Vera Rubin Observatory, expected to become fully operational in 2025, will scan the skies with unmatched precision. It might give us weeks, not hours, to act when the next interstellar object appears. Oumuamua may never yield its secrets, but it taught us this. We must always be ready to ask more, to see farther, to wonder louder. Whether it was rock or relic, ice or intelligence, it came from the stars and left us questioning everything we know about them. Somewhere beyond the veil of night, another Oumuamua is already on its way. Will we be watching when it arrives? <laughs>